five stocks to buy this June, given the treacherous market environment. These are top five opportunities I am seeing across the market more broadly. So let's get started. Number one is a name you probably know, Tencent. Tencent, a stock that's been massively punished over the past one year. Over the past one year, down 43.92%. Despite the decline, despite the pain this equity has continued to feel over the past few months, year to date now, down 21.81%. The underlying valuation of this company, the underlying characteristics of Tencent as a business, they have not changed. Still absolutely world class. A massively free cash flow creative company. Healthy amount of cash on hand with a cash debt ratio of 0.81. Enough free cash flow flowing in to also supplement the rest of those debt obligations and continue to propel this company going forward. A large scale of that free cash flow coming in, not only being invested to generate growth within the core operation, but also that massive investment portfolio that they possess. But the best thing about Tencent isn't just that financial stability. It is the underlying profitability. Net margins at present of 40.25%. And yes, part of those net margins are indicative of uh, one-time investment gains. But even those operating margins, operating margins of 22.17% are simply outstanding. It's a profitable company. It's a financial stable company. And combined with the current valuation, a current P.E. ratio of only 12.62 with a three-year EBITDA growth rate of 35.7%, three-year earnings per share growth rate of 44.8%. Think about the differential there. Think about the massive differential between the current P.E. ratio and going forward, the growth that is absolutely taking place. Massive, massive upside potential evident in this equity. And it's more so made apparent by the degree of undervaluation, the massive degree of undervaluation with even the most conservative of growth rates going forward. Now look at these growth rates, a growth rate of 34.9% over the past decade, a five-year growth rate of 38.3%, one-year growth rate of 44.8%, simply exceptional. Now, if we price this in more reasonably, if we price in say, three, actually very conservatively, 3.91% growth going forward in the next decade, all you need to price in is 3.91% growth going forward over the next 10 years in its entirety, and you'd be paying a fair price for Tencent. That's all the growth that needs to take place. If Tencent grows at a tenth of what it's been growing over the past 10 years, then you get fair value for your money. Up that growth rate, up the growth rate to say 15%, for instance. Look what you get. Margin of safety of 53.19%. Tencent, astonishingly undervalued, almost double your money. In fact, more than Double your money prospect right now based upon the current trading price and a very, very financially stable company. But in this treacherous marketplace, we've seen so many stocks get absolutely bashed down by the market, down 70, 80, even 90% in some cases. And one of those names, one of those names that's been absolutely punished by the marketplace is C Limited. C Limited stock, a stock that has been absolutely pummeled year to date. Year to date down 62.98%, one year returns of negative. 67.9%, five-year returns, despite the massive uptick this stock had, up over, I believe, was 1,100%, over 2,000% over the past five years. The decline is substantial. The decline has been violent and very, very painful. At times, 80% down from its high. So, yes, the underlying fundamentals of C need some work. The operating margins, net margins are still negative, but this is indicative of a growing company. That's exactly what C Limited is, a growing company compounding over time. There's evident financial stability, a healthy cash debt ratio of 1.72. And with that degree of underlying profitability, growth potential going forward, because think about their underlying businesses. What are C's businesses? They have Garena, their large scale gaming operation. They have uh, C Money, their fintech startup, high margins within that business, and then Shopee, the massive revenue growth driver for their organization. Combine these three businesses, the potential for margin accretion over time, improvement to those low net margins right now, massive, massive growth potential over time. And based upon the current price to sales ratio, price to sales of only 4.06, which is historically the lowest price to sales they have ever had. And based that upon the three year revenue growth rate of 97%, I think it's easy to see. There is a massive, massive degree of differential here between the valuation in place of this company and the massive degree of tangible growth taking place. And this becomes more evident when we break it down a little further. Now, there aren't current earnings for C, so we can't price in a really reasonable degree of growth going forward. But if we assume, say, conservatively, 10% growth going forward over the next decade, or sorry, 10% net margins over the next decade, 
And we take the current revenue figure of $20.30 a share. 10% of that would be around $2.38 a share. So let's use that as tangible earnings. And then based upon that growth rate, let's look at the prior growth rates of the past five and one year. A five-year revenue growth rate of 69.7%. One-year growth of 87%. So massive, massive revenue growth taking place over the past five years. If that translates to earnings, if that translates to earnings even half of what that revenue growth has been, then look at the degree of undervaluation. If we put in a growth rate of say, let's say, okay, so a 70% rate of growth over the past five years, let's say a 35% growth rate on earnings per share basis going forward over the next decade. Discount rate of 9% current earnings per share figure of, or projected earnings per share figure with 10% net margins of $2.38 a share. Look at that fair value. Fair value of $250.15. A margin of safety of 66.96% massive undervalu undervaluation evident within this company, a massive discount from its intrinsic value. So much so that based upon the current trading price of only, I believe, 82 bucks, you look at near three extra money. That is the potential there. That's the potential available. One of these companies has been absolutely pummeled by the market more broadly. So, so these are my top picks. A very, very undervalued equity. But unlike C, which you may not have heard of, the next company you almost definitely have one of the biggest names in big tech and yet is still massively undervalued the name the name you're undoubtedly familiar with microsoft corporation microsoft corporation which again with the market more broadly has been pulled down pretty violently year to date down 18.78 percent continuing to get pummeled by the pressure of this marketplace and yet the underlying fundamentals of microsoft the quality exuded by this company it is completely unchanged Massive amount of cash in hand. Healthy cash to debt ratio. Altman score that is exceptionally high at 8.71%. The chances of Microsoft going away in the next two, three years, even I'd say five, 10 years, virtually zero. This company is not going away. An extremely high class equity. And that's reflected in the underlying profitability. Net margins of 37.63%. Returns on equity of 48.21%. And returns on assets of 21.78%. All these numbers... They exude not only a tremendous degree of underlying quality in the business model of Microsoft, but also the people running the company. The individuals allocating capital within this business clearly know what they're doing. That's reflected in all these numbers. One of the single most profitable companies in the world. And right now, on a valuation basis, because of the continual declines Microsoft has been experiencing, it's a more advantageous buying opportunity than ever. Let me show you. If we break it down, if we come down to the tangible growth rates over the past decade, we see something very, very interesting. You can see accelerating growth rates over the past 10, 5, and 1 year period. Every single year, year over year, growth seems to get faster and faster over the past 10 years. A growth rate of around 11.6%, 5 year growth of 26.8%, and a 1 year growth rate of 30.5%. The growth is simply outstanding. The growth is outrageously good for a company of this maturity and size. This is, by the way, a $2 trillion company, and yet it's continuing to grow at around 30% year over year. Now, if we price in, say, 20% growth on Microsoft, which I think is fairly reasonable given the secular trends propelling the company going forward, 20% growth going forward over the next decade, we price that in, 9% discount rate, current earnings per share figure of $9.58 a share. Look at that upside. Margin of safety of 25.34%. And you may say, well, the degree of undervaluation of Microsoft is nothing compared to that of C Limited or Tencent. But think about the safety provided by Microsoft. Think about the certainty provided by Microsoft stock. It is absolutely magnitudinal. This is an extremely high class equity. Equity that is not going away. Equity that you have a certainty in your portfolio will be around 10, 20, 30 years from now. This, this is a long-term wealth consistent compounding growth but also wealth preservation play microsoft very fond of my number three pick but my number two pick number two pick and i think some of you could probably guess this one because you know how fond i am of this company this company has continued to get punished by the market more broadly the name the name is quite simple the name is google or alphabet stock the parent company of google this company much like microsoft has been absolutely pummeled by the market over the past few months. Down 21.54%, the pain continues for Google shareholders. And yet, when you look at the fundamentals, when you look at the reality of Google as a company, 
it doesn't get much better. A massive cash to debt ratio of 4.71, an extremely high Altman score, profitability that is simply through the roof. I cover these numbers almost on a daily basis because they're simply outstanding. A company of this scale at this size, a one, I believe it's a $1.5 trillion enterprise. It's easy to see. This is a world-class business and based upon the current valuation, a current PE ratio of only 20.58 and a Ford PE even lower at 20.26 relative to three-year EBITDA growth of 34%, three-year earnings per share growth of an outrageous 36.9%. It's easy to see. The potential available in this company is simply immense. This is a high-class business. So going forward, going forward, I believe upside potential in the short term and the long term is massive for this equity. And let me break it down for you. If I show you these growth rates, growth rates over the past 10, five, one-year period, simply exceptional. 19% growth rate over the past decade, five-year growth rate accelerating massively to 35.5% and a one-year growth rate of 47.2%, simply outstanding. Now, if we price in what I've been pricing in over the past few months, 17% growth rate on Google, 9% discount rate, current earnings per share figure of $110 a share. Look at that price target. A price target of $3,415.92. A margin of safety of 33.39%, massive upside potential provided by this equity. Think about Microsoft. That's even more upside than Microsoft, even despite the fact that Google is arguably, I'd say, maybe even a slightly higher quality company. It's outrageous. Massive degree of undervalu undervaluation present, massive opportunity present on a valuation basis. But the final name in this list, the final name in this list is one company that I quite frankly adore. A absolutely fantastic business, not only on a fundamental level in terms of the characteristics associated with the company, but also the tangible growth going forward and the valuation at present relative to that growth. The name, if you have not guessed it, the name, if you have not guessed it already is NVIDIA stock. NVIDIA has been absolutely pummeled over the past year, year to date down 38.01% one year returns of only slightly positive at 14.8%. That was after a massive uptake of around 105% during 2021. Massive, massive declines have been felt by this equity. So, on a fundamental level, the fundamental characteristics of NVIDIA, they are as good as ever. Financial strength, to the roof. Cash to debt ratio of 1.47. Altman score of 16.8898. Very, very high profitability. That's simply world class, despite... How fast this company is growing and compounding over time, they are still exuding net margins of 32.02%. Simply outstanding. Returns on equity tell you everything you need to know. Returns on equity of 40.54% telling you that the degree of managerial competency within this business is simply outstanding. The people at the helm allocating capital, they know what they're doing. So financial strength is there. Profitability is there. Underlying valuation, the current PE ratio, you may say is a little high. PE ratio of 50.06 at present, but think about the growth taking place. Think about a three-year EBITDA growth rate of 38.5%, a three-year earnings per share growth rate of 32.4%, and a three-year free cash flow growth rate of 36.7%. These numbers, they're simply outrageous. And when you price it in, when you price in reasonable growth, take into account the secular trends around this company going forward over the next decade, the case becomes even more appealing. Let me show you. If we price in the low end of analyst growth assumptions, analyst growth assumptions of 35% going forward over the next decade, 9% discount rate, current earnings per share figure of $3.73 a share. Look at that fair value. Fair value of $392.05. That's the reality. Margin of safety of 52.37% relative to the current trading price, current trading price of 186. That's the reality of this equity. Massive, massive upside potential, more than double your money on what is evidently one of the world's single highest quality companies, fastest growing companies with the most positive secular trends around their business. This is, in my opinion, the equity to own for the long term. So of course, in relation to all these equities, in relation to Tencent, C, Microsoft, Google, NVIDIA, of course, conduct your own research. Look into the business before you make any moves. But if you enjoyed this video, if you have to learn something more about my current thoughts on these five equities going into June, then please drop us a like down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company or a topic you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. would love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.